Hey guys, so uh, lots of great feedback when I did my zucchini noodles and my spaghetti squash. So today I'm going to show you my cauliflower mashed potato. Now you can buy cauliflower crumbles already crumbled up and that is great if you're going to use them that day. However, or you're going to use them all up. If you're not going to use them all in one go, you're not going to use them on the first day, I would say maybe try and get the frozen ones instead or just go with a whole cauliflower because this will just keep in your fridge a lot easier. Now I don't like cauliflower mash like the day after. It doesn't make a good leftover. So I'm only going to make half of it and leave the other cauliflower half in my refrigerator because it's going to stay good for longer. So cauliflower is pretty easy to put together. I'm going to cut it in half this way. I'm going to save one half and I'm going to quarter it and just like an apple I'm going to take the core out. Stay over here Evan. Just going to take out the core and I'm not going to make it too small but I'm just going to kind of get into florets about this size and then I'm going to put them in my pan and I put them, can you see into here, I'm going to put them floret side down because you'll see why in a few minutes. So I'll go ahead, come back up to me. I'll cut the other one. Just take it out the core, just like it was an apple. Well, there's some good cauliflower, don't miss out on that. And I'm gonna put it down here in the water, in the thing. Now I'm gonna fill it with water only about here, covering up half of the cauliflower. So it's going to part boil, part steam, and I'm going to add some flavor to the water because cauliflower really doesn't have any flavor. So we want to give it some. So I'm going to give it my two favorite flavors for cauliflower. It's garlic and cumin. I find that these two really go together really nice to give the cauliflower some good flavor. So I'm just going to sprinkle some in, sprinkle in some cumin. Pretty simple. I'm going to put this in. Put this on heat to cook up. And I'm really just going to, over here, Evan, I'm just going to kind of like mix it up to make sure all that seasoning got into the water. But I'm going to keep the cauliflowers down in the water. And then I'll put the lid on, back to me. And I'm going to steam, steam slash boil that for about 15 minutes. Halfway through, I'll kind of mix it around and then I will show you how we're gonna mash it. So check back in 15 minutes for my top tips. Here's a clue. We're gonna use laughing cow cream cheese. All right, thanks Evan.